Scrappy friends, I have a, another Project Life spread for you, and this is going to be week May 24th through the 30th, I think that's it, and I am working with Kelly again this week, so me and Kelly, and she is Froggy251 over on YouTube as well, and I will make sure below I have her YouTube channel so you that all you have to do is click on it and you can go check her channel out. She does Project Life as well as other layouts and stuff and she is awesome. So I have really, really loved doing this with her. And this has really helped me so much with um, really getting into the hang of getting Project Life and finding a style for myself because I knew I wanted when I started to do more mixed media. And this week I have done quite a bit of mixed media, but I'm staying in one genre of <laughs> mixed media or I'm using one thing. So all I'm doing is using like watercolors. These are gel uh, food coloring dye, which I like to use for watercolor. It is not acid free. So if that is something that is a big deal, I wouldn't suggest using it, but I love the bright colors that it gives. So I'm using stencils. I'm using, actually, I use a lot of stencils with the, with these. And, um, and I'm just playing around and I'm trying to make a, my thought was, well, maybe if I make a whole bunch of cards, I will have enough to do like half of the mixed media and then I won't have to spend as much time building up layers for the other cards. So that was my thought process because I still didn't want to take a lot of time doing this. Uh, as fun as this is, I find that if you spend like three or four hours doing it, that next week you don't want to go and do it again or at least I don't because I rather spend three or four hours doing a 12 by 12 layout than just one spread. So I'm really trying to keep it easy by using the stencils and just by doing simple things like these are just dots and I'm just using different colors. So one side I'm gonna use the pinks and the yellow and the orangey colors <clears throat> and then the other side is gonna be the blue and the turquoisey aqua colors. So I figured if I use one side that and the other side that, it would be really fun. I do use a little bit of like ink to on this one and another card. So so it's not all watercolor, but I really tried to keep it simple. And as you can see, I mean, I did not do much that, to that. And I figure that I'll just kind of add a couple other things to some of these cards. I don't have a lot of photos for this week. And the photos that I do have are, like, I have three photos from one day. So I just, just didn't take a lot of photos that week. We probably were just doing a lot of school because this is near the end of the school year for us. And so, and then I know I was starting to do some other stuff for my channel that I'm doing. So... I may have done that then, or I may have not. I'm not sure if I started looking at stuff that week or the week after. So I was going to try to take these letters off so that you could just see the white space, and it wasn't working because some of them were really glued down. <laughs> so I just colored them because I didn't like the color. and Because these are from... I got them in a Scrabtastic kit. They are We Are Memory Keepers, and they have this almost velvet type of cover or like you know layer on them they're really pretty except for I just don't care for the color it's not a color I would probably use so I'm going to mat this one and I just put it down and this obviously is going to be my title one and then I'm going to use those gray af those are October afternoon the tile stickers they're the I think that's what those are and I was trying to figure out what I wanted to put down in the corner because I want something else. And then I remembered that in the craft market, I had that 
some stickers and they kind of match the papers that I'm using are all from the confetti line. I think most of them are. I might have added a couple extra papers that weren't, but most of them were from confetti. And this is another way that I'm trying to keep my time down, is either sticking with a certain theme or like this, I'm just using certain papers. So I've found that that also has helped me. I mean, yeah, I could just go in my sash and look at all the three by four cards and stuff but to me I think finding cards that I think match will take me longer than just take cutting down a six by six pad and cutting down the paper sizes to match the pockets that's just me um, maybe one day I have to go through and like color coat or something I don't know or collection maybe I, that's probably what I would do because I'm not I like colors to match but I really I'd rather have the collections together and just remember what colors those collections are primarily. So I, that one flower stencil, I just did the lines and I'll do journaling. I did not do the journaling today. And it wasn't that I couldn't have. It's just that I was trying to make this process a little quicker for the video camera. And I figured I can just go back and do journaling. There's not really a whole lot to journal because like this photo right here is a picture of my daughter holding her sister's Furby and for whatever reason they wanted me to take pictures of them with the Furby and so I was like okay and so I had like six pictures of them holding the Furby. So I do I use one of her and one of her of Leilani so one of Kaden and one of Leilani holding the Furby and it was cute, you know, it's cute. It's something that we do day to day. It's also something that I might not always want a gazillion of layouts of, of my kids holding Furbies, you know. I mean, they love their Furbies and it's a great day by day thing. So I figured this one I can use for journaling. So I'm trying to figure out what else I want to put in that space because it needs something. And the flower's too big. <laughs> But I did put the line paper on. I thought that that would help to give me journaling space because the dots, uh, I could have just journaled right on there, but I thought that it might be a little disruptive to see. So I picked out that flag and then I start cutting out some of the small flag things from the cut apart sheet on the six by six pad, which are so tiny. Oh my gosh. I caught a lot of me cutting them out because it took a while. <laughs> And then, so here I decide I'm going to group some and glue it. And if you hear any noise, I'm super sorry. I'm trying to get this done during the day because I didn't have time to do the voiceover last night. And so my kids are awake. And they're supposed to be resting because we spent the day at the hospital. And they're not. <laughs> I'm tired. I know that. <laughs> I want to take a nap. No. This is fun anyway. So I'm just going to use the letter stickers to write out the word Furby because I'm going to journal about how they love the Furbies and how they had the photo, you know, photo shoot of Furbies. So I'm going to layer this uh, triangle paper that I used, the stencil on, on that gray paper. And that gray paper is from a 6x6 six six paper from the Pink Paisley Citrus Bliss collection. So I really like the gray. And so I tried to stick with like grays or blacks with the colors and keep it pretty neutral, like the same colors, just to kind of make everything pop. I think that for me, that seems to work right now. So there's that flag that I did take up. I wanted to use that uh, Celebrate Everyday because, you know, that's what we try to do just in our life in general. But it didn't work on that card. And I really didn't want to bring that much of that blue color. So I found a journaling cut apart thing with a camera on it. And that worked really well. And then on the branding strip, it says stories and laughs. But laughs was like had the hole in it from the 6 by 6 pad. So I'm just going to use stories and then use another little banner on the side. And then I was going to try to use that, but I didn't like how it looked. 
So I re seen that and it says, I don't remember, today is a good day or something like that. It was cute and so it's going to go along with the picture down at the bottom, which is was from the Sunday, I believe, if I remember correctly. I think it was Sunday. It was on the weekend because... Um, I was hanging around, my husband was home too. I think that's why I remember that. But we were, I was on Facebook and on Victoria Marine's channel, she was talking about how someone thumbs down her. And we got joking around about, you know, why people pe thumbs down and stuff. And because this is, you know, but so then we got talking about having, uh, a posse of scrapbookers that, you know, have each other's backs. And so a couple of us took pictures of our kids with our scrappy tools. So my girls stood together with my ATG gun and they thought it was fun. So they're like, what? A I'm like, here guys do this. And they're like, okay. And since they like to play with that kind of the scrapping stuff, they had a lot of fun. <laughs> It was cute. So I just put Victoria's Angels on the bottom. So I'll make sure I journal that on that other card that'll go next to it. So here is a picture of my son drinking my coffee because this is what he does. Like if I leave my coffee out without a doubt, he is going to take it and drink it. So I wanted to be able to see that palm, palm, whatever those are from the Maggie Holmes collection pieces I wanted to be able to see them uh, with that gray flowery leaf pattern so that's why I put the that neutral color and I'm just going to layer some stuff in here just to kind of give it some interest and make it look really nice I really wanted to keep this card pretty simple and just but also let have it have a few things on it so just edging I made sure I edged everything either in the pink or the blue depending on what size so I think that's done I'm just this one I do put what I was doing on there and then I'm gonna do the other side which is the blue side oh yeah I forgot I put white sequins on there they're like the flat ones they were really cute so just three. I don't use any enamel dots. So this piece that I'm working on right now, I actually did, was it last, a few weeks ago, <laughs> I did the banners and I didn't care for how it turned out too much when I first did it. And then the more it sat on my desk, I was like, hey, yeah, it's not too bad. And with that black and white stripe, it looks really, really nice. So all I did was made some banners with acrylic paint and did different colors for the flags and then I took some sequins and some sh really small shells that we found at the ocean and I used uh, the glue dots like the the clear ones for the shells I know some some people use the glue dots for the sequins I don't have any of the mini ones so the ones that I have won't work for the sequins really, but, and then you see me do that other card that, or the other picture that was a four by four. And that was my daughter's painting. They love to paint. And that week they paint it. I let them paint. We don't get the paints out that often because it's a lot of mess. <laughs> so I know that they would probably like me to do it more. So I just labeled on the card artists. And then just layered some papers and then the journaling paper so that I could just journal that that's what they were doing. And here's where I'm going to use that every celebrate every day card. I love the colors on it. And it looks really cute with the, the pattern paper just layered. I really thought that, that um, it needed some black and white. And so I picked the small dots. I thought that that would give it some black but it wouldn't be too black I didn't want it to be really harsh so after adding that banner 
on the side. I still thought it needed one other thing. And so I found the This Wonderful, Joyful, Laughable Life. And I thought that that would be a nice, uh, uh, like, sentiment to use for that card as well. And then I just added some of those simple stories. I am stars. I had a few gold ones left. And then I'm going to layer a couple things here. I really like that black and white stripe on the side of it, but I didn't need it to say happy birthday. So I'm going to layer some of the little bits that, from the cut apart. And I think that that worked really well to cover up the word, but to also give it some interest. And then I'm going to use, it's, you probably can't read it from here, but I die cut with the cork the word lucky that was from the stitch collection uh with the dies one of the words says lucky and it's I love the way that it looks and with the cork it didn't turn out as great because this cork was kind of thin so it kind of ripped but with the glue I don't think it's too bad so I don't mind that it's not perfect because most people flipping through my albums aren't going to go, oh my gosh, it looks a little ripped. They're probably not even going to notice once I have the journaling on it. So I added, I think, I added quite a few of the blue. Did I add six? I meant to add seven. Yes, I only have six. Well, that's going to bug me. Hmm. <sighs> And then I add the white stars. So I wanted to add that sticker there that says collecting happy moments. But I thought it needed something. But I wanted to be able to see the chevron because it looks cute. So that gold vellum from the Finding Dandy collection worked out really nice. So I have that last card. And there's going to be a picture of my son. And that was the day that I took the pictures of the girls with the Furbies. Usually if I take a picture of one kid, I have to take one of everyone because they all want their picture taken because they all want to see their picture taken. <laughs> I'm sure many of your guys' kids are, little kids are like that. They don't always want me to take their picture. But So here are some close-ups. And like I said, uh, about half of this is mixed media, but I really tried to keep it simple anyway. Uh, check out Kelly's project life and see what she did I had so much fun doing this with her and I hope you guys have been enjoying this uh, make sure you comment below and like if you like it I mean if you don't don't worry about it whatever um, but I hope you guys have a great day and have an inspired weekend too I'll talk to you guys later bye mm -hmm.